Alright, my name is researcher Ro Lucian, and today I'm going to be talking about SCP-5096. Item Number, SCP-5096. Object Class, Euclid. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-5096 is to be stored in a modified Class 7 biological containment cell within Site-8. This cell is to have all life support equipment removed and retrofitted with a 5 meter tall concrete pedestal for SCP-5096 to rest upon. Footnote 1. This life support equipment refers to automatic feeding units and climate control systems. SCP-5096 is to be kept at least 3 meters from all soil and other forms of particulate silicate matter, and is to be kept at least 50 meters from living organisms belonging to the Phalium Annelida and the Phalium Arthropoda. Footnotes 2 and 3. Phalium Annelida refers to ringworms and segmented worms, and the Phalium Arthropoda refers to insects, crustaceans, arachnids, centipedes, and scorpions. Two weeks following a garden party event, SCP-5096's cell is to be cleaned of the remains of all SCP-5096-2 instances present. SCP-5096-2 instances displaying properties previously undocumented will be retained for further study. All other instances are to be brought to a standard biological containment cell for storage. Description SCP-5096 refers to a singular painted lady butterfly. SCP-5096 can manifest an entomology book titled Life of Insects, The Study and Story Behind Entomology, by Jane Woodsboro, designated SCP-5096-1. SCP-5096 is capable of turning the pages of SCP-5096-1 via the flapping of its wings. When SCP-5096-1 is opened, the environment depicted on the chosen page will manifest. Example. A page about the average earthworm will result in the manifestation of soil and grass. If SCP-5096 is introduced to soil or other forms of particulate silicate matter, SCP-5096 will produce a number of duplicates of itself, designated SCP-5096-2. When introduced to any organism belonging to the Phalium Annelida or the Phalium Arthropoda, the entire vicinity around SCP-5096 will transform to that of outdoor scenery though will remain indoors. And instances of SCP-5096-2 will metamorphosize into organisms belonging to the Phalium Annelida or the Phalium Arthropoda, designated a garden party event. The effects of a garden party event will persist even if the organisms introduced to SCP-5096 are removed. A garden party event will last for approximately two weeks before SCP-5096-2 instances are able to be removed. It is of note that this event does not occur if SCP-5096 interacts with soil that it manifests along with the environments depicted in SCP-5096-1. Addendum 1, SCP-5096-1 excerpts. Page number, 23. Page contents. The habitat and behavior of the American cockroach. Effect. A small portion of SCP-5096's cell transforms to wet cement and stone resembling a house garage. Half-eaten food items are scattered across the pavement as well as nine cockroaches scavenging for said food. SCP-5096 flutters over to each cockroach, aiding each one in the retrieval of a food item. SCP-5096 stays in the affected area until SCP-5096-1 is closed. Additional Notes Handwritten notes in the margin of page 29 reading, A lot of people hate cockroaches, but I just love these little guys. I try to help them get food whenever I can. And they only want shelter from the rain. Why would you squish the poor creatures? Bugs are more like us than you'd think. I know you don't like being hungry in the rain. Page number 40. Page contents. The behaviors of the average honeybee. Effects. A large tree trunk with a honeybee hive located within a large central hollow manifests along with several rocks in a small grassy area. SCP-5096 flutters around the hive but remains carefully outside of the bee's detection for approximately two minutes before SCP-5096-1 is closed. Additional Notes Handwritten notes in the margin of page 40 reading, I like bees. Bees are calm. And I like calm. Many think bees are dangerous, 
But they don't want to hurt you. They want to help you. They want your garden to be the best it can be. I guess I like them in that way. I spend lots of time in my garden watching them. You should let bees help. Page number 67. Page contents. The habitat behaviors and background of the drugstore beetle. Effect. A small section of SCP-5096's cell transforms into dry tile with a large open bag of dry dog food. Several dozen drugstore beetles can be seen within, scavenging the food. SCP-5096 flutters above the affected area, then flies away from it. Additional notes. Handwritten notes in the margin of page 67, reading, Man, those drugstore beetles are quite the thing, aren't they? There's a whole lot of them. You know, the name comes from the fact that they like to feed upon pharmacological products such as dried herbs and plants. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Most people think they're a nuisance, but I think they're just like us. I've been eating more outdoor things recently. But that's fine. It gives me more time to observe and document for this book. Page number 115. Page contents. The habitat, behaviors, and information about the painted lady butterfly. Effect. All of SCP-5096's cell transforms to mimic that of a backyard-like area typically found in temperate climates. Including trees, a patio-style porch against the wall with a door, grass, flowers, and a daytime sky. No other insects manifest. SCP-5096 flutters around the entirety of itself for approximately five minutes before landing on a stack of papers lying in the grass. The effects of SCP-5096-1 demanifest approximately seven minutes after it is closed. Additional Notes Handwritten notes in the margin of page 115, reading, You guys get to see a bit of where I grew up, eh? Technically, I'm just talking about butterflies here, but... I mean, I guess I connect to that now. It's a wonder I've still been able to write in here. But how will I share this? There are a million books about insects out there, but... You'll never find someone more passionate about it than me. I'll still spread the message. I'll get there somehow. Addendum 2 Approximately two months after the discovery of SCP-1596, the home of Jane Woodsboro was found vacated, and is believed to be associated with SCP-1596. Within the home, an indoor butterfly enclosure with multiple butterflies inside was found. Next to this was a collection of notes. Hello there. You are trying to write a book about insects. You don't have to freak out. I'm a butterfly, not a ghost. See? I'm right here. Oh, I can't understand what you're saying. I can only interpret written text, but I have a general feel of emotions. Uh, okay. Hi. Hello to you, too. How do you know about me? I mean, how do I even know whether or not this is real? Oh, it's real. I can feel your love of insects. And I want to share that with others. But I'm a butterfly, so I don't know how to talk to people. But you can talk to me. Hmm. You're different from the others. More insect than human. I'm not entirely sure what that means. But um, I'm writing a book about insects and other similar creatures. I guess you could help me with that. Let me find something else for us to write on. Man, I still had some note cards left in this stack. So now that we're finished, I guess I should try to look through publishers again. Why not let nature be your publisher? What do you mean? Oh, Mother Nature and I are friends. We could share this book in a different way, if you are willing to become a little more like me. I can make this book really magical and fully immerse readers. You don't actually mean become a butterfly. Why can't you just make the book magic with a non-butterfly me? Butterflies work in mysterious ways, Jane. Oddly enough, I can find peace in that. What do you mean? I mean, I'm just another human that nobody really pays attention to. But I guess living like you could help me do what I want to do. Butterflies can travel all sorts of places. My message would finally be out there. Exactly. 
we can share our message together. Well, at least it's my motto. Butterflies grow, change, and find happiness. And I want everyone to be able to experience that. All right. That's all I have to say about this subject. 